What's up, everybody? How y'all doing out there? Are we live? I think we may be. Let's double check on that. We are good. It is launch time. Hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. It's now Sunday, June 6th. We are coming at you live from Lincoln City here in Scout Northwest. If you haven't came in and stopped by, I don't know what the holdup is, but next time you come to the coast, we encourage you to come by and check out some gear. It's not just Oregon Life gear. Uh, they've got everything from Leatherman to awesome hoodies, everything. Just a bunch of brands here, here in the Lincoln City Outlet Mall. Also, uh, wanted to let you all know this, prodca- this podcast is sponsored by uh, Salishan Coastal Lodge over in Glendon Beach, just right outside of uh, Lincoln City. If you have not stayed with Salishan, I can tell you from p- personal experience, is a great resort to stay at. Uh, and right now you can save 30% when you book a three-night stay, stay through June 20th. Uh, they also have an awesome, um, uh, oh, what is that? The aerial park over there that we've actually wrote an, quite a few articles about on that Oregon Life. Um, great place. Didn't you drive by when you came on the way here? Actually, I did. Yeah. Um, so there was a couple of things. Number one, this is my birthday month, so. Uh, gonna, happy birthday. Hey, thanks, dude. It's on 22nd. So we're going to go hard. I know the next time I come up here, I plan on staying there. Uh, number one, it's absolutely beautiful. And I noticed uh, some people were having a pretty good time on the golf golf course. I'm a little rusty, so I might be a little embarrassed. But that's my goal, you know, next time I come up is to spend a little time there, get a little golf in, knock out a couple podcasts. So Nice, man. I yeah. didn't even know you golf. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's one of those skills you've got to have. Myself, I say, as a man in a, in a business world, everyone needs to know how to golf. At least that was my <laughs> mindset as a child of like all important deals happen on the golf course. So that was always sure. something that was semi important to me of like, hey, you know what? If I'm going to have any meaningful conversations, they have to happen on the golf course, which is obviously Absolutely. not true because I've had great meaningful conversations at basketball games, <laughs> at gas stations, and Dude, yes. Oh, sorry, I threw you off. I was like, make. I was watching this. I'm like, that's sure. my. I'm like, that's my voice. <laughs> yeah, that was from the phone, and just you know, I know we had an audio issue like uh, a while back, and we the audio like was not on. I want to make sure everyone can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're still muted. Yeah. They're like, we can't hear yeah, you. It's the worst, bro. Yeah, no. <laughs> and speaking of delays, uh, dude, it's been what three weeks since I went live. Yeah. Um, so just a heads up to everyone out there. I've actually been in quarantine. My son was exposed to the good old Rona over there at school. And I, you know what? I don't even know if he's honestly exposed, but you don't take a chance with these things, obviously. That's and, right. Protective um, measures. Yeah. So that was actually the first time throughout this whole pandemic that uh, we had any, you know, call like, hey, you've been exposed potentially. It was, it was pretty weird, man. I was like, whoa, just totally out of left field. That's You're just good, about man. to do a podcast actually that weekend. So clearly that didn't happen and spent a lot of time with my son, obviously, uh, used back to the remote school thing. And, uh, <laughs> that's no, that's no fun. Some no. kids do really well with that. Yes, they do. Yeah. My kids actually surprisingly have been doing really well with it and, uh, it's been tough. I'm not gonna lie, but luckily I am blessed and able to do a lot of work from home. So got to spend a lot of time with them throughout that's awesome. the year and here we are it's already summer and yeah wrapping bring up. it on yeah thank goodness yeah right thank goodness I, i've i've needed the sun but i've also needed uh kind of a break from the online learning yes um, my son is a very social being and he kind of struggled through the online schooling well, so tough. he's got two days a week now that he goes uh uh north eugene you know uh, yeah and i think those are the big days for him but that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're we're just like That's this. So weird, dude. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a little different because I'm in my office trying to work, and I'm like, "Hey, kid, I need you to go ahead and knock out those assignments, all right, bud?" You know, so <laughs> you're playing, putting yeah. on that teacher hat. So I commend people that are able to uh, teach their kids remotely. Uh, not not that I don't have the patience for it, but it's tough when you're working full time and you're playing oh, the role is. of a teacher. Of, dude, it's crazy. An authoritarian and a disciplinarian, and I, I bet your kid's sneaking in the the uh, what Rainbow Six. 
Right, no. You know, I right? No, right? I, 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 like I, I bet. I bet my kid's sleep <laughs> sleeping. I bet that's what he's trying to sneak in. He's trying to sneak in the Z's. Nap. He's yeah. not even interested in the game. He's interested in games, but not during that time. It's that's just funny. like, oh, dad's on a conference call for three hours. Cool. <laughs> and I'm looking at the video, and I'm I'm uh, I'm taking myself off of Zoom. I'm like, hey, dude, hey, don't make me have to come back out here. That's funny. Wake up. That's so, hilarious. yeah, it's definitely interesting times, you know, but you try to show them a little bit of grace because you recognize, man, it's, uh, it's tough times on everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's tough times on everyone. Mentally, so. man. Holy yeah. God, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Just talk about beat down. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and it's funny because the perspective it's, for everyone's a little different. You know what I mean? And people were talking about during these unprecedented times, we know times are tough. And in the same breath, I'm like, dude, man, this is the best my life has ever been. But then I start to focus in on that, well, the online learning really does kind of stress me out a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I've got a full-time job, and I'm like, it's it's it, it it's tough to be all things to all people. You know yes. what I mean? So I commend the people that have managed to just sometimes just, um, I guess you could say, just survive during these tough right. times. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's been quite the trip, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're we're living right here. Oh, we are amen. here. We are, and uh, just like you said, I'm just grateful to have some sun again. Things are kind of sort of getting back to normal, whatever normal is. Yeah, <laughs> the new normal. Yeah, you know what right. I mean. Yeah. So you have got, you know, uh, I just saw. An, I think it was the Oregonian just posted a bunch of stuff that was actually opening up again. So that's cool. I'm starting to see some events happening this summer. Yeah. That was, yeah. dude, last year, man. Holy, dude, I've yeah. never thought and I would ever see in my lifetime. Like, you can't see the fireworks show. What? <clears throat> no. So well, every, everything came to us to a halt. I don't think people really knew what to expect. Right. You know, in I'm going to be honest. I I went on a cruise in March and I never sure. went back to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, dude, you can't come back. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to just stay home. So I'm like, okay, cool. Wow. Um, and where, did, where did you go on a cruise? Oh uh, gosh, uh, Carousel, Bonaire, and and uh, Aruba. Oh, you lucky dog. Yeah. So I mean, that that part was pretty nice. Gone for like two weeks. That was absolutely beautiful. But the coming back of like, oh yeah, dude, this 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 stuff that you guys are talking about, we should maybe be able to kind of push through this and maybe like a month or so. That's not, what we all thought, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not a freaking scientist. I don't yeah. understand, like, how how things mutate and how things grow, you know? And mm -hmm. it, things just got a little out of control. And yeah. then, <laughs> and And then there was a part of me, uh, I would start watching the news and, and consuming a lot of that stuff, and it started to consume me. Oh, yeah. And let me tell I you speak to that. that I had some thoughts that were probably, uh, they were fear-based. I'm just going to put it out there. They were fear-based, and oh, yeah. I, I started anticipating some of the doomsday end of the world type stuff of like i'll barricade the stairs and protect my neighbors and i'm talking to my buddy downstairs of like i'll take care of your family while you're at work if you're able to work and get your 50 pound bag of rice uh, yeah dude it's, yeah yeah dude we started doing <laughs> stupid stuff and keeping things in storage units and buying oh i've travel still got trailers food and pick up stacked to the ceiling and, bro and the my storage yeah, yeah yeah well yeah i i think once i kind of came back to my 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 mind, my right mind. We went back to the storage unit. And I'm like, grab grab that Rubbermaid container. Let's bring that stuff back to the house. Yeah, and, then start, in there too. and then you start. Then you start eating it. It's so funny, man. I got yeah. some, I got some goodies in mind too. Yeah, Same I love story. Yeah, dude. I let it run for a minute. Yeah. And like I said, well, you you couple it with that. Plus, uh, I think there were some riots and things like that that were. Uh, kind of going on at the same time and I started thinking about like man they could just shut this mug down yeah. like they could shut it down right now oh yeah and then that fear would grow and grow I'm like you know what you know what I'm not buying this man I'm not buying it I'm not buying buying the hype you know same. what I mean and then once I was able to kind of step back and remove the news from my phone yeah then all of a sudden I found my peace again I'm like wait a minute the stuff still exists around me but I bring I have peace within me, and I bring peace to those uh, around me. You know what right. I mean? And it's just not buying into it and finding my kind of anchored myself and, and a little bit of peace. Boring headlines don't sell. Yeah. You know, that yeah, we always have true. to keep that in mind. Yeah, they you got know? me. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie, dude. They, <laughs> they got me for a quick minute, and yeah. like I said, my imagination kind of ran rampant. 
for a little bit of, I got to buy all these things and I need to spruce up the truck and maybe put a grill on the front of the truck. The I'm escape like, plan. I'm like, dude, you're not that dude. What well, the fires too, bro. It was oh, like, oh dude. yeah. The, the, the fires. But it wasn't bad enough, right? The fires really tripped me out, man, because there was like a part of my mind of like with all this stuff going on and you look outside of like, man, this mug is really like the end of insane, days type bro. stuff. Like, Stay in your house. We had the door blankets on the door and things on the window. You look outside and it's like this red gray. And I'm like, dude, this is really weird. And it's like taxing on your brain. If you don't ground yourself. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? So it was, it was interesting. So it was. I appreciate better times. I'm hoping know. that we don't have a, such a bad fire season this yeah. year. You know, yeah. uh, that yeah. was frightening at times, man. It yeah. was absolutely <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> that, ho- that hoping, I, 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 yeah, I don't think that's going to get us very far. Because I, I look at how dry it is right now, man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, dude. I, 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 I pray for those sunny days. Like, there were times that I would pray that we would not receive, or not during fire season, but just because I love the sun so much, it makes me feel so good. That vitamin D soaking in my dark-ass skin, <laughs> right? like, it really feels good. It does. And then I've, I've caught myself lately of, like, man, when we hit those 90, 91, 92-degree <laughs> temperatures last week of, like, Lord, we need a little bit of rain, man. Oh we, yeah, the sun's not feeling so good right now. So you got to love about Oregon. We got a nice yeah. balance. I started looking at the grass and looking at my plants and looking at my vegetables, and I'm out there watering. I'm like, it's hot. It's hot out here, man. <laughs> and this is just the beginning. We're not I, even. We're not even into June. Yeah. We're not even into July. You you remember the the days when it would uh when it would rain and you didn't know if it was going to be rainy on the fourth of July. Yeah, my buddies back home always thought it was funny because Oklahoma, you you know you you deal with the tornadoes through that that March and April, <coughs> and sometimes you know May, but it's blazing hot in May, and here we are typically having to deal with all the rain. So well over here on the coast, man, it's uh, it's like an air conditioner too. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, honestly, I moved here a year ago when uh, mm. this all started from Eugene, as you know. Yeah. And dude, like I haven't. Busted out the fan once. Last all throughout summer. Not, not AC fan. Nothing. It's weird. Well, my, my house is, in Eugene, man, it's like just dude. dying. I got to go to the lake yeah. today. Got to <laughs> yeah. go to the lake. But you can't yep. always do that either. Yeah. It's like yeah. you just sit there melting your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It's definitely different uh, temperature wise. I'd like to have a house out here. I'm not gonna lie. I'd dude, like, it's great. It's I th- for me. It would be a great place to be able to escape to. Um, right now, I'm a remote employee i kind of do all my stuff Mm -hmm. i'm home but i would love to have a spot on the coast that i could just escape to and spend extended amounts of time here it's incredible over here yeah i agree how was the drive oh beautiful as ever yeah you know just cruising um sun wasn't really out you know but it wasn't raining so Mm -hmm. for that i was grateful but it's it's always a good ride you know what i mean anytime you can get along the coastline and just for me, man, I'm I'm a water being. That's really who I am. Put me but near water, and it's just kind of like my calming place. So just watching the waves crash in is very relaxing. That's so relaxing. Yeah. You know, I thought I'd spend more time on the beach living over here, but it's yeah. weird when you get here. It's like it's very different. Yeah, you get. I mean, of course, you know, just I'm used to just vacationing over here. <laughs> yeah, and you know, right. of course, you're always on the beach. Then when you start living here. You know, you're not as on the beach as often, man. I, well, yeah. I mean, but, uh, that, that kind of makes sense, though. Yeah. You guys also have a lot of high winds. I say high winds. It's like that 20, windy, 30, yeah. 30 miles an hour. But This it's is not, not the California coast. <laughs> yeah. And if it was the California coast, I think, well, um, our population would change. You know right? what I mean? You know <laughs> what I mean? I wish we could sw- we'd swim in the ocean here. You yeah. know what I mean? But For sure. I think about it's that. Not that. It's not that place, man. Yeah. It's not that place. And, you know, people just kind of tend to migrate towards the warmth. That's... Part of the reason California has, of course, always been such a popular place to live. Yeah. You know? Desirable place for some. Hey, if you're just tuning in, drop a heart. Drop a heart in the comments. We're going to try to talk to some of y'all out there. Uh, drop a heart in the yeah, respond, react, whatever, like, love, do whatever you got to do. And, you know, you could be angry, I guess. Yeah. So if you're you know, angry, there's some of those folks out there. Just get mad and just yeah, <laughs> hit that angry emoji. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a if we make you mad, feel free. <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah. yeah, let us know where you're from too. We love to talk to y'all in the comments. And um, did you know that it's Goonies weekend, by the way? 
I did not. I just found this out. Thank you, Jessica, for writing it up really quick. Uh, I've got a little window. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I made sure and put it in the podcast here. Um, Goonies never say die. It is the Goonies 2021 day, and they do this every year. So if you're heading out towards Astoria, this has uh, actually been going on through June from started on the third, it's going mm. through through the ninth. Uh, the Oregon Film uh, Museum invites Goonies fans to stop by and pick up a passport with thirty six challenges. And th- those that complete at least ten of the challenges will get a uh, special thirty six anniversary button. And fans who complete fifteen of the challenges get an extra treat. So that sounds pretty cool. That Very is pretty story. cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and yeah, as you're exploring a story to complete your challenges, many of the community stores, restaurants, and pubs mm-hmm. are also going to be offering special deals, which makes the perfect way week. Sorry to get away to the Oregon coast. And some of those locations are the Oregon Film Museum, which is awesome. I believe that's where the uh, you've seen the Goonies, right? Yeah, once. Okay, do you remember the jail scene in the nope. beginning? Okay, in the jail, in the <laughs> be- I've seen it more times than I can count. I'm kind of a Goonies freak. Uh, it looks, it yeah. sounds like a girl is yeah. just pointing at herself. Um, <laughs> dude, the, the, yeah, the, he's in jail anyway. It's, uh, I believe that's what they've converted to the museum now, um, which is pretty freaking cool. It was a jail cool. back in the day. Yeah. And, um, it looks like the, uh, chamber of commerce visitor center, the brewing company, the uh, story of column GB jewelers. So, uh, lower Columbia bowl. So that was actually where, do you remember the, Maybe you don't. You've only seen it. Chunk splatters the milkshake on the uh, on the on the window. That's uh, I actually checked that out too when I was in a story. It's pretty cool. It's the old bowling alley, okay. and it's still there. Lower Columbia Bowl. Um, so that's one of like it says in our article here. One of the movies filming locations and Gully's Butcher Shop. I can't recall for some reason. Suddenly, oh, it looks yeah, she put some photos in there. So, yeah, check out the That's article. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we've obviously posted the article on thatorganlife.com if you want to read it yourself. And it uh, should be the first thing you see. And that's, dude, Astoria is an awesome town, even if you're not going there for the Goonies thing. Have you been to Astoria? I can't remember. I've, go I've, I've been to the place where the, the outlet mall is. I remember we had a basketball tournament there probably about 15 years ago. Oh, you 14, did? Yeah, and that's cool. the only time I've been up there. Mostly because it's such a long drive. Right. Yeah, it is a drive for sure. It's uh, definitely a drive. And what I like about it is it's all the old historic buildings, all mm. the homes. It's, uh, you know, it's more touristy when you're over there like Seaside and oh, that's cool. Cannon Beach. But when you're in Astoria, man, it's like that old town feel still. You know, it's that's not, cool. You know, they haven't really, a lot of the old buildings and whatnot they've kept up, which still is survived. I personally kind of like. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Definitely worth checking out, especially all you Goonies fans out there. Hey, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of good movies filmed in Oregon, though, man. That's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot. Um, so what else, dude, what else is happening this year? The Pendleton Roundup, Rodeo. Oh, Never been. Yeah. I guess that's <laughs> happening again. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, man, for all you people like to go to the rodeo. I used to like to go to the rodeo. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's And I don't know why. I've it, only been to like one or two in my life. Oh, my Fun. gosh. I had a good yeah. time. Yeah. They're always interesting. You know what I mean? You Especially you can go during the day and things get a little bit more interesting as the night progresses because people start drinking more and more and then the night, it, it could be interesting. But I, I've always enjoyed like the bull riding. Um, for sure. It's always been one of my... One of my favorites. I'm hoping actually that the Eugene has their rodeo this year. Uh, I know. I think we drove through that Philomath. I think they're going to have their uh, Philomath Frolic Rodeo. So I'm like, you know what? That's close enough. I thought about going to Mol- Molala. There are some things. You start getting in some of those rural areas uh, where people that are a little different. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, things. Some <laughs> weird little towns outside <laughs> the <Eugene, man>. So <laughs> I have a tendency to to kind of stay with things that I know, which is really interesting because that's not that's not my heart. You know what I mean? I like right. I like differences, but then I'm like, how do I minimize my risk of getting in confrontations and things like that? So For I'm sure. like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll go to places that I deem to be safe. So. Absolutely, man. Yeah, you ever been to the country fair? Country fair, the Oregon country fair. Of course, yeah, dude. I would go. I would go every year. The place is so interesting. It's it's one of my favorite places. Yeah. Like yeah yeah. I'm not even. 
I've got a thing for like lots of people, like groups of people. I don't, I don't feel so good around stuff like that. But that place is so intriguing to me. Um, oh, I almost feel like a very unique. I almost feel sure. like a, a an anthropologist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where I'm recording everything of like telling my buddy Joseph, Joseph, you won't believe what I seen at the Oregon Country Fair. Oh yeah, everyone's naked, <laughs> and they're they're walking around like apes. Very slow, just high out of their mind. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're on. You know, oh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't ask everything. You know, but <laughs> it's it's always very intriguing. So I, I myself personally, I appreciate it um, that it allows kind of people to uh, express themselves. Oh yeah, in a in a in a safe environment. You know what I mean? I don't stay the night there. I, do, I have no desire to run a booth or help anybody run a booth. The days are enough for me and one day is enough because it's usually blazing hot for you sure know, but it's it's pretty i think it's pretty cool i'd go i'd go this year you know what i mean i think they're doing it virtually this year i'll pass, <laughs> pass. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking myself <laughs> does anybody actually do that pass. <laughs> <laughs> like for real though like i don't know it's just it's bizarre to me i don't yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine spending any amount of money on a virtual <laughs> event just uh, concerts yeah nah i guess call me old-fashioned but i like to be there yeah i <laughs> myself personally i couldn't see i probably wouldn't even attend if it was free that's no. that that's just me part of that um that kind of that ambiance is like the energy that's associated with it oh sure. and it's, it's like i said it's even not being on anything, like the only thing I, I had while I was there was just water, and then I packed snacks in because I don't want to eat off of like community utensils and plates. Right. That that's just me. I've got a very sensitive stomach, but going out there and once you hit that little canopy where the trees are, uh huh, like the energy changes so dramatically. It's it's I haven't been out there in a while, but um, it's it's something that I think. Everyone should experience it at least once. Oh, absolutely. You know, I had a boss back in the day. He, uh, he'd never been there. Mm. And he wasn't from Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Those <laughs> are the best. <laughs> I want to see yeah. what this is all about. A country yeah. fair? All right. Yep. Took his kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Had no I idea. I, yeah. Somebody <laughs> should have enlightened st- him. All he thought, oh, fair. You know, must yeah. be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's not that kind of fair. There are people that have grown up. There's a guy that I work with. Um, um, I, I want to say is I believe his mom was a hippie, right. lived up Blue River or something like that. I love Blue River, and um, that guy he, he kind of grew up there. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, dude, that's really cool. You know what I mean? It's just lots of lots of different experiences for mm-hmm. myself. I like, I myself where I am now, I probably wouldn't have felt comfortable bringing my son, like at five, six, seven, eight years old, right? Um, and not that I have to explain others' behavior, but I think sure. I would have a hard time explaining, <laughs> like, where people are mentally or spiritually or For sure. sometimes physically. Why are you in the tree right now, dude? <laughs> it's dangerous up there. But then you, not to say that that's my place to try to explain that to people, but I had a hard time understanding myself. You know what I mean? Of Why are people doing this? I'm like, If you want to see something crazy go down, it's probably the spot. <laughs> Yeah, I I would agree. I yeah. would agree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um they used to have uh what was it, the the country music festival too. Do you do you remember that? Um it stopped a couple years ago. Is there the Willamette country was the Weimar <laughs> yeah. thing? And all the vendors yeah, were getting yeah. screwed. Yeah, dude. I, I end up reading those stories. Dude, that was so sad. They they did that was horrible. They did those some people, people are horrible, man. They did some people <laughs> dirty. Jeez. You know what I mean? And I think it's affected like thousands and thousands of people. Um Yeah. And I people lost I, their businesses, yeah, man. Yeah. It it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good. You know what no. I mean? But I did read Actually, more about that particular event than I probably should have. Right. Because I'm like, why would anyone do this to someone? I'm like, well, I know why. Yeah. It's it's the money, the amount of money that's brought into those events. Yeah. By the way, Joshua Greenwald comments. He wants to know if you're going to get on one hey. of those bowls. Hey, He's what, talking to you, King. Hey, what, what's, what's good, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> what's good, dude? <laughs> and no, dude, I'm way too big, man. If I got bucked off of one of those, not if. When I got bucked off, man, it would probably break my back, just my sheer weight alone. So 
The answer to that is no. However, one of those mechanical bulls, I will do it. Those are pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. That I do all day long. But a real bull, no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was Joshua Greenwald. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, for everyone, for uh, joining in the conversation. We love it. We love hearing from the fans out there. And, um, yeah, just keep keep the comments coming, guys. Drop a heart. Let us know where you're from if you appreciate this stream. We plan on doing a lot more podcasts. Uh, we've no. been delayed, and I've actually had a – my son was exposed to COVID-19 recently, so we actually had to take a little time out. And, but we're back now, and really excited to be back on air again. Uh, appreciate all your support out there. Everybody who's listening, your support means more to us than you know. We are independently funded. We have no corporate backing. This That Oregon Life was literally started out of my crappy little apartment back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Remember right. those days, King? Yeah, I do. Yeah, was, my life's changed quite a bit since then. <laughs> it sure has. It sure <laughs> um, has. But, yeah, so here we are, and we're finally doing the podcast that we've been wanting to do for years. Uh, let us know where you're, you're viewing from guys. If you're commenting in the comments, we'd love to talk to you. Um, maybe let us know if you've got any plans this, this, uh, this summer, even if you're not in Oregon, tell us wow. what you're up to this summer. What are you all doing out there? Look at Everyone's that. getting out of their, out of their shells right now. From Myrtle Creek to Tampa. Wow. And that is a huge move. Yeah. Huge move. Oh yeah. Tampa, Florida. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now I live in Tampa. Wow. So if you can, if you see in our comment, we'd love to know uh, what, how do you pronounce? Cholo, I don't want to butcher her name. Where are you at, Miss uh, Starline, um. Tampa? Was that? It's a yeah, female Chile. Chile. Hey, Miss Starline, uh, we'd love to know what brought you to Tampa, Florida. If you care to comment again, um, Florida's a cool place. Yeah. I, have you been to Florida much? Yeah. You, <laughs> no, not not much, but yeah. I have been. I've to only Florida. I went to Disney World. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the last year or the year before, like, 19? Uh, Is that I when think you went? It was, like, tw- before it, was, so it was, like, 16, more like, 16 oh, or gosh, 17, okay. yeah. Time's flying, huh? Yeah, I remember old little, little Joe Gibson uh, living in Orlando. Yeah. And I remember, I'm like, dude, I need to make plans, and I'll just stay, crash at your place and take my son. And then yeah. he ended up moving to Oklahoma. So I'm, yep. like, I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's a long way from home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> His uh, his album was actually pretty dope. Did you hear that? Yeah, the yeah. dude, good old the Joe. Dude, the dude is very talented. He is. He needs to give me a little guest spot on his next album. I'm not sure what I'll rap about. But yeah. I'm sure I could find something. I didn't even know you rap. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not a rapper. You know what I mean? I could write poetry, which is kind of the same thing. We're gonna have to drop a beat and just have you yeah. flow on the next podcast. <laughs> Definitely <bro>. not. <laughs> Will not. <laughs> <laughs> Will not happen. <laughs> hey, where's Kings? Hey, dude, where are you at? Hey, oh, mm, I've been exposed. I don't think I could make it today. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm definitely not that type of rapper, for sure. <laughs> for sure, I, man. Yeah, that would be funny. Let's see. Can you, can you get on? Oh, yeah, that's Josh. I seen somebody was from Austin, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming, I'm assuming Austin, Texas. It's a. I'm not a Longhorn fan, so you know what I mean. I'm definitely not a. A Longhorn fan at all, but it's a really cool, really cool city. You know, uh, they're doing some really great things out there. A lot, a lot of people of, are moving there. A lot of tech, a lot of tech. A lot of these tech companies Austin. have fleed from California, man. The taxes and everything else. Just it's going to change the state of California. Yeah, um, big time. Well, so. I think California lost more people last year than ever. Or yeah. something. I think it was like one hundred and sixty thousand. I think crazy. was the last number I seen. It was the first time in. Who knows how long? I mean, yeah. probably longer than we've been alive. Uh, population decline. Yep. That's for, that's crazy. There's some crazy stuff going on down there, and I think there. some people that are in positions to move have decided, hey, you know what? I've had enough. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I've had enough. So uh, Starline, uh, Miss Starline here responded. She was born in Roseburg, grew up in Myrtle Creek. She joined the Army and retired from the Army in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> She's grateful for the experience, but definitely looking forward to when I can move back to Oregon. Oh, wow. That's I bet, cool. I bet she misses the water. Because the water, have you drank the water in Florida? Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, it's, I mean it's, Really? But let me tell you, if you've drank the water in Junction City, you know, <laughs> if you've drank the water, what's the other place? Harrisburg. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Really? That stuff is disgusting. That's really? like. I, mean, I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's It's real bad. Um, Mental note: Don't drink the water. I drink a lot. I, I drink a lot of bottled water, so I mean, yeah. I'm 
I had water, I think, at the Chili's last time I was in Florida, but it wasn't anything to to write home about. You know, it wasn't For horrible. Sure. And it's also not to say that it wasn't uh, filtered water. You know what I mean? Not, not all the places are going to serve you tap water. Right. Um, unless you're in the Philippines. That did happen to me once and got pretty, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty sick. So, but. Yeah. Friggin', I don't know, man. All I remember is the water in Florida was like, I couldn't drink it. I'm just being honest. I remember just like, whoa. It just tasted like something I never, maybe I'm just too spoiled over here in Oregon. Man. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it was different for sure. Yeah. Other than that, it was a great time. That's good. Yeah. I could definitely live in the heat all the time. I don't know about the desert. I'd have to, I, I think ideally it would have to be tropical, like yeah, uh, somewhere like Hawaii or you something. Know, you know what sometimes trips me out about like hot places are the snakes. I instantly yeah. go back to the snakes, dude. I think about Florida. I think about those pythons. You know what I mean? They're paying yeah. they're paying people fifteen bucks an hour to catch these snakes. I'm like, get the get out of my face. I wouldn't Yeah, no. How much I, an hour? Fifteen bucks an hour. Huh. Which maybe in the state of Florida, that's a lot of money. But people that aren't afraid of snakes are going out there wrangling these big wow. bow constrictors and I'm like, I'm not interested. And I'm I'm actually Bow constrictors? No joke. Yeah. Oh wow. yeah, dude. You've obviously I'll not heard. Yeah. I'm terrified of snakes. Ter- and I mean like it's 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 not rational. It's not even based. I mean, it, it, there's a base of why I'm afraid of snakes, but it's like I'm not even entered. Like anytime I even enter this any enter any state or area that has big snakes, I instantly start worrying. I fly into Phoenix. I'm thinking that I'm going to see a snake coming off the plane. You know, it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? More than likely. But in my mind, that's how it works. I go to Florida instantly. I'm asking, I was over driving down the road, you think there's snakes in there? What do you think about, do you think there's alligators in there too? What about crocodiles? Almost like a child. But that's where my mind goes, so I couldn't, I'm, yeah, it, yeah. That's what I think about when I think about hot temperatures. Bend, I know they've got rattlesnakes over there. But we also have timber rattlers at, like, Pleasant Hill, so... Actually, we have timber rattlers at what is it? I don't Spencer, know. That. Uh, Spencer's Butte. No, I've never seen a snake Skinner. there. Once you get to the top of the the rocky area, um, they like to kind of sunbathe out there. So, nice. I, I hit that that rocky area. Guess what my black butt does? Turn around, about face, <laughs> and head back down. So, For sure. Yeah, terrified of snakes. Such All a snakes. great view up there. Yeah, that's cool. I got a drone. It could fly up there. You've been flying it much lately? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't. I in my mind in my mind I'm like, next time I go to the coast, I'm gonna bring my drone with me. And then I'm always in a hurry. Last night I didn't get to bed till damn near like one AM. Mm-hmm. And so when I woke up this morning, it's just like, Oh, let me get all my stuff ready, all all the stuff. And then next thing I know, we hit the road and I'm like I forgot my drone. I'm like next time I'll remember. So for but, sure, yeah. You got the what the DJI Mavic Mini or no, not the Mini. The, the, no, you got the Pro. The Pro, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're on the two now. I find that the the Mavic Pro. I think those are selling for like two. Uh, actually, maybe like three, three fifty right now. They're dope too. Yeah, they're gets really the job nice. done. You know, I like I like the the high def videos. I like the fact that it's small. That I could fly it with my phone if I wanted to. I travel, uh, I don't want to say that I travel more than most, but I do like to travel and I like video. So I'm like, you know what, let me get something that I can pack with me, toss in a little backpack, uh, and I could fly right there in an instant. So that's how I ended up with that that pro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I lost mine over there. In, uh, damn, rest in peace, Mavic Pro. I lost it over in, uh, it was a little hike over by Tillamook. Beautiful waterfall oh, yeah. over there. Yeah. And you yeah. still didn't get Dude, it. Dude, it sucks. I need to get another one. Yeah. I mean, I myself personally, I'd pick up one used, and then I'd add insurance on it. I think it's like State Farm or State Farm or Allstate offers insurance for like $100. I'm it's not, not an I'm not an agent, but it, 100 bucks, And then then you're covered to anything. And I, th- I want to say it's like $100 deductible. It's something weird like that, but it's it's very affordable. Nice, man. It's definitely cheaper than having to buy a new one, I'll tell you that. Right. Yeah, it's a it's nice to have one when you're out hiking, man. Speaking of hiking, you doing any hiking this summer? You got anything planned? No. No. Well, nothing. Nothing on nothing on the books right now. Literally, yeah. 
The biggest thing that I've got planned, got a trip to Mexico. Oh, um, that'll be great. Locked in, then a trip to Hawaii, locked in, and got a trip to New Orleans and Colorado. So it's just like, bang, 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 bang. Now it's like, I need to make sure that I get all my flights and all that stuff booked. Then I'll start thinking about the things to do kind of domestically. Like I want to go, I want to go camping. You know what I mean? So do I. I didn't go camping once last year, which is a tragedy. Oh, last year. Tragedy, last year. man. That's uh, for me to not go camping. It was just a weird year. It was all these fires and. Oh, you know, I went camping like, last year. Nice. I had to think about it. Sorry about that. Go ahead. No, it's fun. Uh, it's just, it was very disappointing. Because usually I go camping at least a few times every every throughout the summer. Usually is when I'm camping. Yeah, I end up going right before the fire started, uh, and I mean right before. What I mean by right before, I mean like maybe like the day of. Uh, things got a little hairy. We could have actually got trapped. We stayed at some place Scary outside enough. of. Well, when you look at it and you start looking at these maps, I don't know these freaking back backwoods, man. We're right. out there and. 20 miles outside of Cottage Grove, and I've got a grip of kids with us and the trailer and all, all these other things. And Scary. You, you don't realize, and there's no connection to the internet. So you yeah. have no idea, like, how bad, like, things are. You know that there are fires, but they're so far away. Well, you know, we end up leaving, and just to come to find out that there was a fire in the air, I'm like, things could have ended badly. Uh, for us, they did not. So I'm very fortunate and very grateful. Mm-hmm. There was a couple. Uh, it was um, up McKenzie, I believe it was. Yeah. Do you remember that? They were stuck out there, and they were yeah. missing for a while, right when the fire started. Yeah. I, I can't imagine. They found them, thank God. Yeah. They I couldn't. Were, I, safe, I can't but. even imagine. I started, I think about when I was watching those videos of the fires and um, the footage that people were uploading. I'm like, I can't imagine what must be running through your mind. Um and there were there were a couple of stories that I read about a kid going back for his dog, and and I'm like, this is so sad, and this is like in our like in our backyard. These are people we know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it's hard to wrap your mind around. At least it is for me. Um, so, same thing when we have tornadoes back home. You know, growing up in Oklahoma. That it happens, you know. Every I'd say, bro, what every four to four to six years, you have a really good one that affects people that you know. You mm-hmm. know I mean, and it's just like this is nuts that you're here. It's kind of like 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 death or or moving on. That you're here one minute and you're gone the next. Your house is here one minute and it's gone the next. You know, it's it's hard for me to wrap my mind around sometimes. Losing everything would just be just devastating, man. I if my heart goes out to. Everyone who was affected by the wildfires here in Oregon last year, just, just, dude, I can't even put in words how bad that is. You yeah. Know? Uh, it breaks my heart going uh, past San Am and just all the different places that were affected, man. Yeah. It's um, a trip. I mean, it really, really is a trip. It's horrible, man. And everybody asking for help, you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not rich by any means, um. But to be able to give back, you know what I mean? Like, when we went down to Thurston High School, I couldn't tell you what day it was. I couldn't even tell you what month it was. I know there were a collection of us at work. Uh, I believe it was, like, Christina Parra end up setting up, like, Venmo, and have she would have people from our work uh, give her money, and then she would go buy the things for the community that they needed and drop them off. Before that had started, we we just went to the dollar store. We filled, filled up the cart. Full of, full of of water and toothpaste and coloring books and just and just drop them off and it's like you have the the people that are helping to serve and then you've got the people that are literally just kind of standing there uh, as like a like a little meeting place. It's just right. It was very it was very interesting, you know. Um, and then you start seeing the Facebook posts, you know, and then my heart starts melting and. And I'm like, this is this is really horrible, you know. This is really horrible, and it's like, how can I how can I help? How can I serve? What is what is what does that look like? And I'm like, you know what? I have more time, or I have more money than time. Then this is how I will give um, back. And then there were people that are like, I'm going to go fight fires. I'm like, that is definitely not me. <laughs> I'm going to put people at risk trying to fight those fires. You right. know what I mean? And I started yeah. thinking about my knees. But your first thought is like, how can I help? 
Um, like, you know what? I could help by staying out of the damn way. That's how I could help. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm a little concerned about this year. You know what I mean? I about too. Likewise. It's early in the season and it's already dry. I think there was a fire out by dry. the gorge too in Portland. Mm. I read, I didn't really look much at it, but and if I, I could be wrong, but I felt like there was a uh, concern in Southern Oregon. I, I believe that. Yeah. It's definitely a lot warmer down there. You know, I also started thinking about that. The differences though of, we are talking on the way up here about the differences of people deliberately setting fires last mm-hmm. year, you know, to create that extra added chaos and layer of uh, kind of, I don't want to say complexity, but you, just adding extra chaos. Whereas this year, more than likely, God willing, that it's going to be more like natural, you know, like, yeah. so maybe, maybe it won't be as bad as last year, you know. Or maybe people really weren't setting fires, and maybe that was part of the agenda. I, I don't know. I didn't see it, but I'm just kind of throwing it out there. That there was a lot of videos on uh, social media that were floating around, just arson. It's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What drives someone to do that? It's just uh, oh, you're a yeah. disgusting Oof. human being. Yeah, some people have got some stuff going on in their head, or believing someone else's agenda. You know, you start buying into a lot of that other agenda, man. I'll have you doing things that are not. Uh, of your own <laughs> you, you know if you if you've ever been part of a a group or even a friend group when you're a child and people start to kind of convince you of like dude you should just you know what it, just take it just take it now it's not that big of a deal just take it you're doing things like under on, by yourself you know what i wouldn't have taken the laptop right but that extra added pressure of like this is what we could do with that laptop. We could become rappers, you know, whatever the stupid right, little right. idea is yeah. of like, you know what, that's a, we could raise our family up. You, what, whatever, whatever it is you buy into, except these guys may be a little bit more convincing as far as their messaging of like, you're really making a change in the world by committing these, these acts. And they're probably not calling them crimes. There's probably some true belief that would have them do something so horrible. But. Oh yeah. Yeah, not good stuff, though. I'll tell you that. Not good. It's like the whole, and you know, it's not just Oregon, of course. It's everywhere. Did you ever see that uh, that documentary they made about paradise in California? It was on Netflix. No. It's horrible, man. Mm-mm. It's terrifying. You know, it's like, it's hard to imagine it any worse than what we saw in Oregon, but mm-hmm. it was significantly worse, man. That whole town's gone. Yeah. The whole town is leveled. Yeah. Which is always interesting to me. I guess because the entire structures are are burnt to the ground, which is very different than like tornadoes. Tornadoes, you know, tornadoes may annihilate and then like an in, may annihilate a town, but usually not the entire town that you'll, yeah. f- you'll find right. like the paths that the tornado kind of travels and you'll find there are some churches and schools that remain intact. And then in the backyard of that, yeah. The, the the 25 houses leading up to it are just annihilated. So I don't know. I don't know really what the difference is. Maybe just a fire is really going to consume everything in its path, whereas a tornado, that's not always necessarily the case. Right. Yeah, I don't know. With any luck, man, maybe it'll be a better year, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it sucks you're going camping too, man. You can't have a campfire no more. It's like, everywhere <laughs> yeah, you go, it's yeah, like, ah, yeah. oh, how do you camp without a campfire? You learn to adjust, man. I, I I feel like that prepares you for real life, man, because people will get caught up on stuff. Oh, this is absolute BS. And all. Oh, well, that's that's my camping voice, if you didn't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is absolute BS. How do you, how do you go camping without a fire? Oh, hmm. Buddy, you're going to have to get by. <laughs> with, <laughs> right. Without a fire, maybe you have uh, uh, three LED lights pointed up. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> right. I think I think there is um, uh, some extra added warmth, and I don't mean like temperature warmth, but like energy that's put off by the fire. And people, it brings people together. You know what I oh, mean? Yeah. Like, let's do s'mores and all this other stuff. Let's tell stories around the fire. Maybe you're just having a beverage and just conversating. But yeah. We've entered this age, man, where I truly feel like you just need to learn to adapt. Everyone's got to do their part. Man, that, that, that's it, man. Learn to adapt. You, Nobody wants to hear you complain about it anyway. I don't want to hear it. If you want to sit and talk about, oh, we can't, I'm out here camping, we can't have a fire. Yeah, dude, that sucks, dude. It really, it really does suck. 
Yeah. Um, but look at all the other beautiful things that come with camping. You know what I mean? Absolutely. For me, it's just the community. Or, or sometimes it's the solitude of like, dude, it's it's nice to be disconnected. Most places we go camping, my phone doesn't work. You I know, love that actually. You know, it's look, a great time to disconnect. Let me let me message my boss just so you know I'm on true PTO. I am truly out of the office. Dude, we're just always connected in the, yeah. today's time, and it's like yeah. it's so nice. I I feel you, man. In it's the weird. same way. I just want to get off the grid. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird, dude, because it does weird things to your mind of like, what do I fill this space with? Yeah, I will scroll sometimes on Facebook to fill the time. Just look and look oh, and look. Or let me tell you what's worse than Facebook. Facebook's there's a lot of beauty in it because I've subscribed to a bunch of groups and there's a lot of great things that pop up. But I can tell you, TikTok, man, I could lose hours. I'm not even kidding. I'm talking about hours to TikTok, so I have to limit my time or do it. What over. do you watch on TikTok, dude? It just. It, it really depends. I like to watch people get scared, you know, so there's a yeah. lot of those. Like prank videos. Yeah. I don't like them done on me. I'm not a big, funny. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's like the more time, whatever, wherever your attention goes, they feed you more of that. Yeah. So those videos just, I will cry, dude. I mean, I'm not even, cry, not even joking. The tears will just start flowing <laughs> and then it, I'll watch it again. The videos are, could only be 60 seconds. Right. So I will watch some of them 10, 11, 12, 13 times until I start getting cramps in my side. I'm like, I really can't breathe. And then I've got to stand up. I've got my hands above my head trying to stretch out my lungs. But, <laughs> dude, those are the videos. And, like, I, I, I think the reason that I like them, they, they raise my, my spirits so quick. You know what I mean? Like, there's just... It's like this extra energy that's created with that laughter. So that's yeah. one of the things that I will do. I'm like, what's something that would bring me joy? And these parents that are they're doing pranks on their kids or the kids are doing pranks on on their parents, I'm like, this is this is out of control. I wouldn't enjoy it in my household, but I, I am definitely very appreciative of people doing it in their household so I can take part. So My kids show me some pretty funny stuff on there, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're on it a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's easy it's easy to be a, I don't know how many billions of people are on TikTok but it is I don't want to say it's ruling the world but there's it definitely connects us that's for sure oh yeah that's for sure I was listening to a guy before he was big I think we've all been there of like I was listening to this guy before he was even <laughs> a th that was me you know what I mean I yeah. can't even remember his name now but. He must have had like maybe a thousand subscribers or something like that. I'm like, man, I really like this guy's vibe. Just really happy, always smiling. I think he's always high. You know what I mean? Yeah. L literally head in the sky, but don't just smile from ear to ear. I'm like, I just really like this guy's vibe. We're driving up here. I had Apple Music playing on the way up. And uh, I'm like, I start listening to this guy's voice. I'm like, this guy has a really good vibe. Sure, sure, sure. It's the same guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny how you kind of recognize you kind of recognize the voice, uh -huh. but you recognize the energy that they put off. Um, that was more of an I like help me to identify him than right. than his actual voice. That I'm all looking and I'm looking at his face. I'm like, this is the same guy right here. So it's kind of cool to watch guys blow up. Oh yeah, um, Dude, people are getting. Straight famous on oh, yeah. thanks to TikTok, man. Get, and and a lot of them are getting paid. Well, and the you know like next level paychecks. Yep, and from what I understand, they're not getting suppressed. Like Facebook right yeah. now, there's like some, Facebook there's right some now. Interesting stuff. Like yeah. I can't even be be honest. Like when I started yeah. that Oregon Life, we were reaching a lot more people. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Um, and I'm you know it's of course this isn't a, this isn't I'm not unique by any means yeah. in this problem, but. Everything is suppressed now, man. Yeah. And one benefit to TikTok is you're reaching organically a lot more people. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, you've got a lot of people getting on there. A lot of people don't have attention spans anymore <laughs> either. So it's like that <laughs> short 20-second clip. That's it. You know? And, and, you, and you really have – you've got that first five seconds – and sometimes they'll they'll I will, like bait switch you or they're like oh you won't want to miss this wait till the end and I'm like dude that was that was garbage that was garbage <laughs> right. they know what they're doing you yeah know? but then there are some of them that are just like it's amazing I'm like saving them 
am I ever going to go back and, and, and review them? But I've got a phone full of just like TikTok videos that I've saved uh. that I mean, that just bring me great joy. And I think, I think they're funny, uh, but you have to have share the same type of sense of humor too, yep. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> to get that type of, that type of joy. You know, people throwing fake snakes on people. I'm like, dude, I would have knocked you out. You're my, <laughs> you're my son. You're about to feel the wrath. You right? know what? I, I just don't do well with, with, with snake videos, but to watch someone else, I'm like, dude, that's just evil. Why would you ever do that to someone? Or sometimes it's so far, so, so bad that I'm just like, dude, I can't, right. I can't, I can't. I can't like your video. I'm like, dude, that was real. That was, <laughs> that was really, dumb. that was really cruel, <laughs> right. you know, but yeah. Yeah. Brookings, Oregon. That's one of my, that's one of my favorite. Brookings is beautiful. I, I love that place down there in the banana belt. It's one place I haven't explored enough. Oh my gosh. It's nice in the winter time. And I, maybe I'm not explaining the banana belt very well, but the nice thing is when it's really crappy, throughout most of Oregon that you can escape down there to Brookings. And I don't know what happens with, with the airstream, but often it is nicer in Brookings than it is in a lot of other places yeah. in Oregon. Yeah. It's, only problem with it is it's kind of a, a, a drive and a half from Eugene. That's probably my biggest complaint. And it's a clean coastal town. Yeah. Very, very clean. I, I really, I really enjoy that. It's uh Heather commenting Brookings in the house. What's up, Heather? Thank you for tuning in, guys. Someone's here from uh, South Dakota. Went to college in North Dakota. Moved to Oregon twice. Second time in a forever more stay. That was... Uh, I can't, man, my eyes are getting bad, bro. Just because you're getting old. I know. What happens. I'm going to be 40. Oh. You've already you've already crossed that line, haven't you? No, I'm, I'm like 29. Nice, bro. <clears throat> I'll be there someday. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I turned 45. Nice. I turned 45, yeah, this month. Some good years, though. Yeah. Oh, this is, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Life is good. It. Yeah, yeah, life is good, man. Oh, for sure. I've seen some bad years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, you, you start putting things in perspective. Like, dude, let me think about how good life is. Let me count the well, ways. Well, the trip's still be even alive right now. It's like, dude, I've been through some stuff. Yeah, man. you know. I, I grateful for that. Man, I end up sending my buddy Joseph. I've got a friend that lives in Oklahoma, Um one of those friends that I'm like, dude, I don't know how we remain friends for so long. There were so awesome. many times you should have left me, left me behind, and I won't get into the details of it. But there was a time that I lived a, a very, very, very crazy life. Oh, of for like, sure, dude. Like the repercussions of my actions could have cost you, um, cost you. You know what I mean? Of like, anyway. Long story short, he and his family were out on the boat in Oklahoma. And uh-huh. I seen it on Facebook, so I screenshotted. I'm like, dude, I'm just so proud of you, dude. We had every reason to not be successful, yet here we are. There you go. You know, and the same goes for you, dude. So it's like it's like you step back. I mean, life gets kind of effing crazy sometimes of like, oh, but what about this? And I've got to do this. And they're telling me I've got to do this or i got to shut down. You know, you put all, put all that stuff aside and you're like, Dude, let's look at how, what's the worst state that I've ever been in? And I don't mean state like in the United States, but f- like as a human being, what's the worst I've ever been? Let me, let me live in that energy for just a quick minute. Yeah. I don't really care for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, mm-hmm. I don't want, I don't want to live in that state. Man, it took me a long time to figure my shit out, man. Well, yeah. I was 30, I think, probably. I, yeah. I think that was about 30 before I finally was, like, yeah. you know, on the right. felt like I was at least on the right path. I do it. I mean, I, not, like, throughout my 20s, not the whole, it wasn't, I was a complete train wreck, but yeah. I don't feel like I was really a man until I hit 30. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Don't ask me when I found I think I think men way. I think men tend to uh, mature less. Uh, slower than women. I used in my to, opinion. I used to call myself, and please don't take offense to this. I used to call myself retarded. Now, retard means to slow down, sure, or to be slow. You know what I right. mean? Like it was like my true mental state. Actually, no, 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 no. My mental state was pretty sharp for the most part, mm-hmm. but my emotional state was gotcha. very, very, very. I was well behind what I would say men of my own age for sure um, were emotionally. Yeah. Um, I don't know where I would have put myself, 
but it definitely wouldn't have there, there would have been such a discrepancy like i truly felt like almost like a kid oh you yeah know what i mean i know um, what you mean so i'm just like you know what man i'm really grateful for where i am absolutely i I do think about like, dude, look how long it took you to kind of turn into the person that you are now. And some people will be like, look at all those wasted years. Man, I don't look at it like that. Oh, I've seen no some, way. I've, I've seen a lot of good times, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times for me. It's always like, um, what do you call that? The, um, the contrast of like, wow, man, I remember, and I'm not going to share these stories on here, but I remember worth when things really weren't so good. Yeah. Okay, in my 20s, in my 30s, maybe the verge of, of my 40s, and then I look at where I am now, I'm like, man, I have matured. Um, not, not still where I want to be, but definitely in a much, much better, much, much better place, healthier place. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes I think it takes oh, getting yeah. beat down to uh, to really push yourself forward, you know? Um, you gotta get uncomfortable, right? And I was definitely not, not comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like okay. one's enough, enough, right? Yeah. And uh, when do you decide it's enough? Yep. And it's easy to. I mean, you can live in a rut, a self-created rut. Yep. I mean, I've done it. I knew, I knew the certain things that I would do would keep me where I am. I'm not ready, and so just be honest with yourself. I'm not ready to change. Absolutely. Word. I'm gonna stay here. And I'm going to create toxic relationships everywhere I go. Toxic relationships with friends, toxic relationships with partners, toxic relationships with bosses. I'm like, dude, I'm tired of living like this, dude. There's got to be something more to life. You start questioning. I'm like, what does that look like? You know? That's where it starts. What does it look like? like mm, Imagine that. I want to be happy. I want to wake up happy. I don't want to wake up wanting to kill myself. You know what I mean? That, yeah. That's some, ooh. People do wake up like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to wake up hating my job. You know what I mean? I don't want to wake up wondering what we're going to do tonight because I just want to get blitzed. Right. Is blitzed even a word? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just staying Thanks. drunk with your homies because you don't have any you don't have any real plans as a man. You know, you don't really know what it's supposed to look like. You know what I mean? Yep. Based on where I am. You know, so Yeah, drinking for me at some point just became too much, man. Yeah. Yeah, too many hangovers. Just no, just not my thing, man. Every once in a while, I'll have a beer now. Yeah, you know, never now and then. I'll drink, but, but I don't. Yeah, I don't really get hangovers. Um, for me, I was always just running from stuff, dude. So I would same. Just You're just trying to fill that void. Yeah, dude, I run pretty fast. I mean, it might not look like it, but mm. professional runner, you know, Nike might want to think about signing me. So if you guys are on there, Nike, uh, <laughs> I'll let your boy. Um, but no, I was definitely a professional runner, dude. Oh, I can confront. I, didn't know that. I, I no, <laughs> no, dude, not really. I get a what you're saying. I get but you. yeah, dude, if if I could run or face it, uh, is this going to be hard? I'm not so interested. Let, hold that thought, and I would take off in the other direction. But, oh yeah, yeah. Took a while for me, man. That's for sure. But here we are. You you know what? Well, you know what else has taken a while is um, uh, <laughs> this has nothing to do with like me as a person. But I've really been thinking about uh, UFOs. I know that was one of our topics that we wanted to talk about today. And I think about what's up with it though. <laughs> yeah. I don't even get it. Like, <laughs> right. <dude. laughs> I I sometimes I feel like. Uh, uh, what was that movie where like, you can't handle the truth? That's kind of uh, how like the government yeah. treats us. You yeah. know what I mean? There's no disrespect to the government, but you know what I mean. Like, oh, dude. I don't know. Like last I heard, it was happening in June. Yeah. I don't know if there's any truth to that. Honestly, the news gives me anxiety, man. Like, yeah. I just it's hard for me <laughs> to even listen to it. Like, like Jesus, yeah. what's next? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just turn yeah. this shit off. Yeah. I am done. Just, no, I got to tune it out. But what is the, I mean, I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but they are saying in the news that, like, June, they were supposed to say something about UFOs, right? Yeah, well, or I know. Or is that just crazy talk? I don't even know yeah, anymore. I, I know, I know. what was it, two days ago, which would have been, what, like, Friday? There was a story that was written about uh, the government was uh, analyzing some videos, and, and, and people were asking, what do you know about this? What have your studies show and let me i've got to read this because uh, i don't, don't want to go right get it wrong 
The U.S. military UFO report does not confirm or rule out alien activity. It's like that statement, I can neither confirm nor deny that aliens really exist. Right. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. Which I don't I don't need them to confirm. Just like people that have seen UFOs uh, don't need anybody to confirm that they actually seen them. However, a little bit of validation is sometimes helpful uh, for from, sure. from time to time. Right. Uh, yeah, like that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> but there's 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 a lot of stories. I don't I don't know if I ever told you, Tyler. I don't even know who who oh sorry, my allergies are kicking kicking my rear end, so I've got a, a little runny nose here. Oh man, I feel for you. Oh yeah. Maybe you get a little break over here on the coast though. You no, know, it actually started when I was over here. Really? Like I have different symptoms back home. <laughs> so <laughs> God, it's, it's 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 okay, dude. If yeah. that's if that's my biggest complaint in twenty twenty one, I'm doing all right. Amen. But hey, dude, I one thing I, I've probably not shared with very many people, and and this could be totally made up, and maybe I've totally bought into it. But when I was a child, I'm pretty sure I I and I thought I was abducted by aliens. Really? I I. I, I I I I I I want to say shit. What so I'm gonna go? I already it already came out. I shit you not, dude. I I swear to goodness, and it could be it like I was watching so many of those alien uh, like X Files and all that stuff. But I sw- wait a minute. How old were you when you thought this? <sighs> if I had to think, we we had moved from Oklahoma City to Stroud, so. I spent my eighth grade, ninth grade, all the way until I graduated. So mm-hmm. I bet I was younger. I don't even know. I would probably say fourteen. Um, I'd I probably say fourteen years old. And I swear to goodness, dude. I swear to goodness. If you've ever been in a car accident, um, and you see it happen. It's like things kind of happen, like they almost feel like they happen in a different dimension. Like things slow down and you start noticing things. You notice the beads of water flying through the air. That's the kind of experience it was. Now, it could have very well been just a very vivid dream. Um, sure. Anyway, it was super, super, super weird. And I don't, I haven't held on to a lot of the details of it. That's the biggest thing is that I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it it felt like, and like I said, it's always tough with like your imagination of like, did I am did I truly just imagine this, or did this s really happen? Right. You know. Um, and as I sit here, I was thinking about on the way up here, and I'm like, man, it it feels like it. Uh, and it wasn't like I was abducted and then I just disappeared for three weeks. It felt like I was gone for like hours. Um. And then I was just, I was just back and it didn't happen while I was walking to the store. (laughs) There wasn't a beam of light that sucked me up. It was just like, I felt like I was home one minute and then I was gone. And then before I knew it, I was back. Weird. Um, Yeah. That, that's, that's kind of how I Remind me, when did this, when did you have this thought the first time? The first time? Yeah. That you felt like you were. Oh. No, then, like when I was 14. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. It, when I was 14, I just kind of kept it to myself. Um, mm-hmm. And it was weird, man. It was just a weird time altogether. Uh, so today, do you? what do you think of that? What is your best, like, uh, what? Um, <sighs> I've had a couple of different experiences, not so much with extraterrestrials or whatever, the, the label that they're putting on on those guys now, aliens. Um that's the only real experience I've had there. That's a trip, but, man. You've but never I, told me that. Oh, dude, I've never told really anybody. I keep what a trip. Weird shit like that, kind of to myself. It's weird, you know what I mean? Because you don't hear about it every day. Um, but that's maybe not, you're watching a lot of X Files at the time. Oh, maybe no, was, no, uh, no, no. I definitely know. <laughs> I definitely know there was that. There was the Alien Nation. There were like a oh Alien Nation. Oh, that was yeah, a the great dude show. With the little had like the red tattoos on their yes. Head. But so it could have very well been back there. Now, now here's the only difference. Here's the, here's here's the difference though. It uh, if you've never had that experience, like an experience like the only thing I can compare it to that like most people go through would be like literally 
if you see something traumatic and, and things happen kind of in slow motion and you notice all the details, the only other thing that I can compare it to, I had, this is totally, totally a different trip. And, and what I mean by trip, I don't mean like a drug trip, like not acid trip or nothing like that. No drugs were involved <laughs> right. uh, on this. Was when I, I had a, a really rough spot financially. And I don't mean like rough, like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to live. But I mean, it was rough financially. Know, bro. Um, and I, <laughs> I swear to goodness, I, I can't put a name on the group itself. But I had, um, gosh... You ever had a vivid dream or a, a lucid dream? Oh, yeah. Okay. If you've ever had any type of lucid dream or if you do any astral projection. Oh, now you're talking. It's, that's, that's, a, that's a fun time. Uh, and, and that's one we'll want to say for another day. But it's like um, you're there, but you're not there. You know, you're perfectly conscious of of like your your cognitive ability, your ability to kind of think through things. But you recognize that you're not truly there. Sure. I had these two beings l- dressed like people, literally. Um, and we entered this room. It was like a, um, uh, almost like an interrogation room, but it was completely uh-huh. black. I mean, obviously there was a light in there. Two guys kind of sit down. I walk in and it, I don't ask me how I, how I transition there. Two guys of like, um, Hey, you know what? And it, to be honest with you, I felt like it was some type of exclusive group. Um, I'm not going to say Illuminati. I'm not going to say, uh, any men other, in black. Yeah. yeah <laughs> men in black, but maybe not the government, uh, per se of like, Hey, you know what? If you, n- <laughs> <laughs> nothing's free, you know, nothing, nothing in life is free. I do. There, there's some, some type of exchange has to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, you know what? We can end these financial problems that you're having or troubles that you're having. Um, if you're interested. And and just like we're sitting here talking like this, this like, is crazy. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Thank you so much. Wow. And it was just like just just just, and it was like I said in my right mind. And it, um, for people that haven't had lucid dreams, it's hard to freaking explain. It's like being here without being here. It was like being in a. Di- it was um, almost yeah. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Sure, but it was literally like. The transition happened, like, I don't know, like, I didn't call on them. Times were tough, you know what yeah. I mean? Times were tough, and I'm exploring in my mind of, like, dude, how do I how do I create that miracle? Um, and uh, But I knew the, en- the energy wasn't right, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not interested. Whatever it is that you guys are offering, I'm not interested in. And it was, and it, and it was just, lo- just like that. I'm like, thank you. But I'm not interested. So, do you know for certain if you were asleep? I know. I know for a f- well. Um, sleep is. I guess it define depends on how you define sleep. Sure. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like I've got, I get a lot of premonitions, a lot of things that come to me mm-hmm. in my in my sleep, but they don't happen just all throughout the night. Typically, things for me that will happen. If I get a message for somebody that I need to deliver, and it could be it could be something big, it could be something small, it could be you need to check on this. That's that's that that's where my eyes are closed. You know what I mean? My consciousness, my my being is in a different place. I can't tell you where. I couldn't tell you what level of sleep I'm in. Right. You know what I mean? But I can tell you that that window. What a trip. Typically, for me, happens either right after I fall asleep, and I mean. It's like the changing of the guard right after I fall asleep or just before I awake. I've heard some crazy stuff. I've I've seen some crazy stuff, and it always happens right before that window. You know what I mean? Yeah. Before, be- I know be- exactly be- what before, you mean. Before, before or after. Um, mm-hmm. And so if you've ever felt yourself jump, that's kind of that. You feel yourself starting to doze off, and you're starting you're starting to kind of shift through the yep. different planes. And you, there's an astral plane you can travel throughout. All I know, dude is it was as clear as F and day. Like, wow. like I had that, that experience I have, this isn't that UFO experience. How many beans were there? There was, a, was two people. I two. mean, they had, yeah. they had, they had skin on. It wasn't like light beans. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I just knew 
the, like I said, the energy didn't feel right. And number one, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm not financially. I was interested in the money, but I've been around for a little bit, man. And s- things aren't free. You know what yeah. I mean? I, you, everything comes at a cost. There has to be some type of exchange and whatever you want to offer. And it was, it was literally one of those things, whatever, whatever it is you want, you don't have to, you don't have to worry anymore. Right. Weird. Um, yeah, totally weird, dude. Um, and I, I didn't decide to research it, but I know there have to have been other people that have had that experience. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sure. But I, long story short, I'm not interested. I've got enough stuff going on this lifetime and adding an extra layer of complexity or any extra contracts or any other, any extra things that are not bringing light and, uh, to people is not something I'm interested in. So. Did you ever see that movie Fire in the Sky? No. Never okay, so these dudes were out logging. This was, I want to say, late 70s. Mm-hmm. And it was connected to Oregon somehow. God, what was it? I'd have to look it up. Um, but I want to say they were in, like, Arizona. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I've seen it. Anyways, these dudes were out at logging. Right. They were about to end the day, you know, wrapping the day up, hard day out in the woods. And uh, they seen something in the friggin' It landed, man. It was yeah. like a straight cr- like a spacecraft yep. and uh, hence the name fire in the sky. And mm-hmm. then you look out and yeah. it's nighttime now and they're leaving right out mm-hmm. in this out here in, you know, Timbuktu mm-hmm. and uh, there's this, you know, lit up craft or whatever. They don't know what it is from a distance. Yeah. And so oh, what the hell is that? You know, it's a pretty intense scene, man. Mm-hmm. Um, and they go back and they go back to see this UFO mm-hmm. and what they see now. And they're just, you know, they don't know what to think. One of the dudes yeah. immediately, like, uh, gets out of the truck, and he walks up. He, like, try, he approaches this thing. Mm-hmm. Right? And these dudes are like, get the hell in the car. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, his name's Travis, right? I remember that. And uh, he's just awe-inspired. Oh, you know, and it's like this light coming down. It's yeah. crazy, man. And uh, they're, they're screaming at him, and he's just, it's just insane, man. And he finally, he's just like... Oh my God, you know, this light comes down and he gets kind of freaked out mm-hmm. and he starts running back. He's going to go to run back to the truck, <laughs> yeah. but the, the light like hits him. Right. Yeah. And it's like, Oh my God, dude, it's, it's freaky. This came yeah. out in like the nineties, by the way. Never even heard and, of it. And uh, yeah, it's based on true events. Mm-hmm. This actually happened all this. And um, so he goes running back and they take off. They just panic and leave. Yeah. And this is like their brother, man. They're all pretty tight, as you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, so they yep. leave and they end up coming back and they can't find them. Mm-hmm. And so they go back into town um, and they're at this little this little tavern and they, they've called the police and everything. There's this uh, good old boy sheriff. He's sitting there yep. and questioning them. They're telling him the story. Of course, the sheriff's, <clears throat> goes, you know, uh, he just figures they're just full of shit and something mm-hmm. happened. Like they killed him or something. They, right. he, he suspects foul play. Right, right. And nobody, the story's of course, not yeah, nobody believes this crap. You yes. know. And long story short, though, they end up finding him um, after some uh, some amount of time went by. A good amount of time, like it was like a week mm-hmm. or a few days or something. They find him. He they get a call. This creepy call, like <laughs> you know, uh, his brother actually gets a call. Like. I don't know, crazy, like midnight or something. Like, right. He's like, hey. And it's like, you can't barely talk, right? Yeah. He's like, Travis? And he's like, thinks it's a prank if it's him. Yeah. And they go back, and he's like in this phone booth out in the middle of nowhere, some d- road. <laughs> right. so, yeah, it's just crazy. And he's like naked. And the whole movie, man, uh, they did a really good job, especially mm-hmm. for, you know, this is long right. for what they can do now. Um, it was terrifying what they showed like his abduction right Mm -hmm. and here's the kicker though man at the end they all took a lie detector test Mm -hmm. every one of them passed it except one of them was inconclusive because he wasn't cooperative though like he was he he was just kind of a hard ass and he wasn't he wasn't really so he didn't he you know he was he'd been in trouble with the law here yeah that'll make you nervous yeah yeah one of the that was the guy that wasn't he just didn't want to talk to police and his didn't say like he wasn't lying mm-hmm. uh, or he was lying, but it was inconclusive. So anyways, yeah. I've always thought about that. Like, I mean, you can read about it, man. It's a trip. And they made a movie about it. And and those good old boys yeah. aren't going to lie about stuff. Right. Like that, that's one thing I like about people that are so yeah. kind of what I say, straight laced yeah. that they're, you know, they're, they're not hanging out with folks like me and hanging out right. with hippies and with crystals and stuff like that. 
Yeah. So when something like that happens, it's just like, no, really, dude, really. Yeah. This is what <laughs> this is what happened because they're just like they're putting their name on the line. Yeah. You know, for stuff like that. And uh yeah, no, I'll have to check that out. It's called Fire in the Sky. It's worth watching. I don't know if you're a movie buff. I I like, dude. I love movies, dude. especially lately. Dude. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not just, much to do, just sit around watching movies, right? Just the opposite for me, man. I couldn't tell you the last movie I watched. Really? Yeah, dude, I don't watch much TV. No, I'm all about movies. I want to get a bigger TV. I want like an 80 inch TV. I, I'm getting close to that. I think it's. Uh, I don't know what I do though. Like 72 or something. Yeah. I'm like, it what, keeps getting bigger. What, what, I'm like, what would I do? I'm like, I don't watch TV. I don't play video games. Yeah. So, but it would look good on a wall, you know, if it took the entire wall. But oh yeah. It's not a damn trophy. But, but this UFO thing, like, I don't. Are we? Do you do you know much about them? They were like the government was supposed to. Share something with because it's been a while since I heard this. Oh, right. Are yeah. they actually gonna, like, I don't know. I want to know what the skinny is on that, man. Right, right. Yeah. Because you know, dude, they know everything about there's a lot they're not sharing, yeah, man. I, and I, think, I believe that. Yeah. I think a lot of it is that they want to try to break down this technology. Yeah. I always think about us as a government and I think about China as a government and I think about like the, the big superpowers that you want to take that technology and kind of make it your own so you can create your own weapons. Sure. You know what I mean? Um, but no, I, I really don't. I don't, I'm not going to say I wouldn't trust their findings anyway. Um, yeah. However, I'm a little skeptical. I'd be more likely to trust something that came out of the UK. You know, yeah. <laughs> as funny, as funny as that is, but those studies have been going on for a while and they're a little bit more open. Sure. Um, whereas here, they're just like, eh, you know what? We, we didn't find any evidence. I'm like, did you not see the light? It looked like a drone. Okay, okay. There, it could have been a drone, but it flew into the ocean. There was a a couple of people that had videoed uh, a UFO sighting in uh, in Hawaii. You know okay, I, I think mean? I heard about that one. Dude, let me tell you, you watch that. You're like, this is a trip. There have been a couple of things where pe- things are flying into mountains sure, that open yeah. up. I'm like, this is this is very interesting. And I'm like, why are we not? truly investigating well they go back sharing. way back yeah. too like i, I think mean, some of that study started like in the 40s uh, yeah and there's lots maybe of even before yeah and lots of men in planes and our military seeing shit out there yeah make no sense oh, yeah. a lot of cover-ups oh. you know you start digging I, man yeah. there's some i'm not digging yeah. you, 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 yeah. that that's 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 it you know what i mean i think if you if you start digging you'll start finding wait this stuff doesn't really make sense wait all these people can't be wrong, you know, right. people in, in New Mexico and the people in Nevada and the people that are just, this continues to it happen consistently for 14 days. I'm like, that's, it's wild. Yeah. But yeah. Why, why aren't we openly sharing? I'm s- still not sure. I think also collectively that um, maybe more so here in the States that we really struggle with, uh, there being other beings outside of humans, which is abs- it blows my freaking mind. You mean we're traveling all throughout the universe while we're trying to, you know what I mean? Right. And we seriously believe we're the only beings in all of, out of all the universe, all the universe, we're the only beings. Yeah, right. That's because we're so self-absorbed. You know, yeah. I can't see beyond what I can see, feel, or touch or smell, you know, I if I can't see it, it must not exist. Maybe oh. aliens just don't want to mess with us, man. Yeah. It's <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I mean, I th- I think it's even I think it's even bigger than that. You know what I yeah. mean? Like I think I think a lot of the things that we see are even there's there's more going on to what to what um, we could really see. Well, know, have you I looked mean? at some of the stuff in the pyramids? You ever watched? Uh, some of those things they're, they're back, way back in history, you know, it's like, you know, raises the question, obviously, where did these pyramids come from? Yeah. And you used to look at some of these old uh, structures, these these old statues and whatnot from back in the day. It's Dude, like it's a rabbit wild. hole. It's wild. Yeah. It's like a rabbit hole. Yeah, I mean, man. some of them look like literally like spacesuits and... Dude, it's weird. You've you've seen the, probably yeah. the same shows I've watched, right? Yeah. On the History Channel, I think it is Alien, yep. I, Alien and Encounters. And, yes, some and it, crazy stuff, man. And it, and it is very interesting. Yeah. Um, for myself, I guess I've always been kind of cautious as far as um, <laughs> what I decide to watch, especially more so in my adulthood. 
because it really is a rabbit hole of like, I want to know more. I want, so whatever happened of this, why are we not expanding on this? Why aren't we learning more about this? Why is there no paper trail? Why is it so secretive? Why is it so secretive? What, like, um, the, the technology that was, it, it, it just keeps going. I'm like, you know what? I've got things that I have control over that I need to focus on. <laughs> right. And it doesn't involve uh, aliens. Uh, it doesn't involve pyramids. <laughs> it does, like, Atlantis. I know there were... That's I, a trip. Oh, my gosh. I joined a couple of groups on Facebook. And I tell you, the reading is, like, it... It can consume you. I I just want to know more. I oh, want yeah. to know more. Show me more. Show me more. Show me more. But why? I'm like, dude. I need to be focused on and on on knowing myself. Don't be worried about Atlantis and what happened to it. You need to be focused on yourself for sure. Um. So that's <laughs> that's what keeps me from diving down those rabbit holes and consuming every piece of uh, information that I can. I think it was the Alvar Desert. You've seen the crop circles. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I believe, was it this one? I know I wrote about it years ago. See, that's absolutely beautiful. That's uh, right? that sacred geometry. Some of them were, have been debunked as a hoax, but there's yeah. others that they still can't explain. Yeah. Um, there was some out in the Alvord, I believe. Mm. I want to say it was the desert here in Oregon. I know I, I'll have to look it up another time and show you, but uh, something like that was, it wasn't that long ago, actually, that they'd mm. found it. It's a trip, dude. Like, yeah. There's so many mysteries to this world, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I kind of yeah. like it. kind of yeah. dig it. It's easy to, I guess, for a lot of people get uh, consumed by it of, like, well, <laughs> I instantly go back to uh, the things that I hear. Well, did God didn't create aliens, so they didn't exist. I'm like, <laughs> that's that's a conversation for that's, you to have with God. Yeah, you know, what I, right. I don't, I don't, I don't have a tendency to to have many of those conversations. But just mostly, it's kind of sensitive territory oh, for a absolutely. lot of people. I get it. But I'm like uh, to also believe that we are the only beings that are on Earth uh, is a little nonsense. And people yeah. n- uh, only want to believe what they can see. I'm like, but I've had some very real. Uh, experiences with beings that are not of this earth, well, uh, spirits and things like that. Oh that yeah, are, that are very real, dude. You uh, and me, very me and me, real. Yes, you and I both. Yeah, you. That's one. That's very how we real. where we connect on that, man. Um, uh, yeah, because I can tell you, and I know you've probably talked to people who just don't believe in any kind of anything. Oh yeah, that's, and yeah. it's like to talk to someone like that when you've had experiences like you just said, like supernatural, like dude. weird. Sp- dude, I've lived in houses that are just creepy as shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> stuff that didn't make sense. Yeah. Radios turn off and on. Whatever. I could tell you stories yeah. for days. Yeah. And there's no explanation for those things other than some kind of dark entity. Oh, and yeah. And that, you know, you start talking about astral projection, man. I've read a lot about oh, that. Oh, yeah. And these people that tell you, you know, leaving your body, experiencing these dark, uh, you know, dark entities that are out. It's out there, man. I don't, <laughs> no one's going to tell me different. Yeah. Something's out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of haunted places in Oregon, honestly. Yeah. We've actually wrote quite a bit, actually. Um, I'll have to show you some of the articles, some of the places and maybe we'll just go check some of these places out one of these days, man. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe not, dude. I, 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 for, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot to add that onto my list. Yeah. Not only am I afraid of snakes, <laughs> but you could also add spirits on there as well. <laughs> but no, I, I, I may. I've been thinking about it, uh, dude. Like, as much as it freaks me out, I'm still dude, always curious. Oh my gosh, yeah. dude, it's stupid. Yeah. You know why it's stupid? Is that when the energy changes and you could feel that you are in the presence, like. Perfect example. You ever been to church? Not all churches are created equal, but whatever. They're in worship. I could feel the Holy Spirit enter enter the church. Best part of church for me is not the sermon. I don't really care about what most people have to say. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. That was a little harsh. I do care about what some people have to say. However, the worship part of the church is so amazing, and it brings that Holy Spirit in there, and all of a sudden, just the energy level is so freaking high. Okay, yes. that's that's the good part. That's the high part. Right. I've also been in places where the energy is so low or the energy is neutral. Absolutely. Neutral, neutral, neutral. I can just feel it and then right you, when I walk in. And, and, then, and then it hits you of like, oh, dude, this doesn't feel very good. Mm-hmm. This doesn't feel very good. And I've got some stupid, crazy stories of... 
of things that I've experienced firsthand. Um, Absolutely. Anyway, long story Likewise. short, I would like to do that. I've got a friend. I know I, I keep falling back. Um, psychic medium, Sarah Limo. She oh, does. Yeah. I would. She's cool. That would be one of those things. Like Sarah, you know, let's let's do this. Uh, but I am. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I I, I get. I get kind of not scared. Nah, there ain't no other damn word, dude. Don't be trying to tiptoe around being scared, <laughs> dude. That's what it is. I get a little worrisome. Maybe that's a little softer than, a little softer than scared. But um, and it's just some of those entities are so nasty. Um, I've been in places where a guy killed off his whole family. I didn't know this. I didn't go there right. with the intention. Was this in Oregon? No, this is actually in Oklahoma. <laughs> in Oklahoma. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you feel, oh that's I, it lingers, dude. Dude, let me tell you, I had Bad no, I, I had no idea. I just knew that the house was abandoned. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't know. Long story short, dude, I'm hanging out in this car, right? And yeah, yeah, it's like when you've had you have somebody stare at you, but with the intention of creating like some type of harm, right? And just like almost like this hatred, and I could feel this of like, why do I feel like? Why do I feel like people are watching me? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, dude, you're just paranoid. Stop tripping. No, nah, man, I know this feeling. I know this feeling. The sensation um, became so intense. I mean, obviously, I started my car, and I, I took off, and I mean crazy fast, to this place called Town & Country in Davenport. And I'm like, hey, you know what? This stuff is really weird. I've got to share this experience with you. It's like, I don't know what happened, but this is where I was. And this is what I started to experience. They're like, where were you? Oh. It was like, you know where you, you like, you know where you live, you know where you live. It's like down, down the road. And then you, you, you hang a left. And then it was the first house on the right. And this is out in the country, 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 like not in town. Right. And she's like that house. It's like you painted yellow with like little white trim. That's the place, like a two story, really nice oh, house, man. And she's just like, you you know, because I wasn't from Davenport. Sure. You know what I mean? I just went to school there. We moved from Oklahoma City. And she shared the story. I'm like, that's why. That's why. It would, dude, it was like things were good. Things were good for like 20 minutes until they weren't. Right. Um, anyway, I'm sure there are some people that have some uh, some really crazy stories. Oh, yeah. Um, Like, I would like. Especially people that have lived here in Oregon, that I'm sure they can point out some places that are pretty haunted places for me to stay away from. You know? <laughs> just, I hate stuff like stuff touching you. Yeah. Like I don't, I, I don't like to be touched by like pretty much most people. I don't, I don't like that. Hey, hey, but hey, buddy, <laughs> how are? You? Hey, keep your energy to yourself. Almost, you know? <laughs> right? just keep your energy to yourself. I don't, I don't need I, that. No, I couldn't agree more. Uh, however, people I care about, obviously, I let, I let those guys in. Yeah. But if you've ever been touched by... Some people are a little too touchy-feely. Yeah, something that's not here, that you cannot physically... Not, like, yeah. you, Dude, it's a trip. And then you start questioning, am I okay right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, long story short... Um, I probably would be down because I think number one, I think the fans <laughs> of uh, that Oregon podcast would love to see, and I would be more than happy to put on like a GoPro. Dude, I get so worked up, even in my own head. You could take me to a house, and literally, I would I'll find my grounding spot. I'm like, okay, things feel good. Then I know this is ground zero, and then I know when I don't feel good. You <laughs> know sure. what I mean? I can't see, like, I don't have, I don't have, like, um, any, like, mediumship ability. Right. Uh, not, 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 not typically. You know what I mean? Right. I see things kind of, like, out of the, out of, I say this part, like, the corners of my eyes is where I will see, like, silhouettes of beings and things like that. And I, I I'm a big feeler. But, yeah, dude. There's I, a place, you know, where Redmond's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's kind so, of country. Like, looks yeah. like, oh, you'd yeah. have you'd pack a six shooter, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a yeah. cool place. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's right outside Ben, and um, 
I believe it. Yeah, there's. I can't remember the name of it, but there's a hotel over there. My mm. dad, dude, he had some crazy stories there. Like, dude, what? He worked for the railroad, man, many years ago, Ooh. and he's. It's just the, some of the stuff you tell me about this place. I have to admit, it got me Intriguing. curious. When we started looking looking on the internet, it turned out he wasn't the only one. Because this is back in the '90s, That's back before right. the internet. That's right. And I was like, you know what, Dad? I'm gonna look this up really quick. The and it's a little more. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You and can't. Story after story after story. My dad was, you know, probably not too surprised, I guess, mm -hmm. because he had his own experiences yep. there. That's right. Just weird it stuff, just man. Confirms. Yep. And you, then you feel validated. Mm -hmm. Someone like yeah. your dad is not. He's not a. He's not going to BS you. He's right, like, exactly. this is my, that's what I appreciate with people that live this life right here. They fall right in between. So when they tell you this is their experience, this is their experience. They're not yep. telling you something for attention. So. Right. But I, I would be down. I would have to. It'd be kind of fun. We just document it. Yeah. It'd stay yeah. the night or something. Oh, I if we know. can make it through the night. Woo. No, I could, I could. <laughs> I just wouldn't sleep. Dude, yeah. I could like, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, I yeah. There's a place that uh, was a sanitarium back in the day, um, way east, bro. It's called Hot Lake Hotel, and they've rebranded since. It's called. They just opened the doors again, like less than a year ago. But this place has been burnt down. Like it was a hospital. It was. They were take. This goes way back in the native days, man. Like the place, dude. There's even a lady. She wrote a, uh, what's her name? It's going to bug me. I did a whole article about it, but she did an amazing song um, because it's just famously haunted, man. And they've got hot, hot lake. It's the hot springs there. And it's not cheap to stay, but I've always wanted to check it out. You know where La Grande's at? It's yeah. Way, yeah, it's out there in La Grande. I stay out of that um, country typically. But. Yeah, it's pretty far out there, man. There's not a lot, you know, it's pretty uh, desolate, but... Um, you know, there's a lot of hot springs and whatnot out there, and that happens to be one of them. You can soak and you can stay there, and uh, they've rebuilt it. So um, it was recently <laughs> renovated again. But some of the stories, bro, like you just oh, make the hairs rise, bro. Like, oh, I believe it. Uh, some of the stuff I've – and even when I've – because I wrote about it because the place fascinates me, of mm -hmm. course. I've posted on Organ Life. And some of the comments that I've – I mean, just – I've lost count of how many people have commented – talking about their crazy experiences at this place, mm -hmm. man. And it's just a fascinating building nonetheless, but putting them aside the weird supernatural stuff, um, you know, the, if you just look, it's just crazy history. What happened it, there? Do you know? Um, it was, well, I know that it burnt down and With it was, people in it? I, it wasn't like a bunch, a bunch of people died in a fire or nothing mm. like that, but there was a really bad fire and, um, you know, they were taking care of people that were, like, wounded from whatever war that was. Oh. And so I'm sure, you know. That's being, traumatic. Yeah. Uh, a lot of trauma, obviously. That makes and, sense. Yeah. It's so, like those traumatic experiences. Mm -hmm. but it's, yeah. I mean, makes, there's old, like, dude, it's like something straight out of a weird horror, man. Like, there's old, mm. I mean, because for a lot of years, it wasn't, it was abandoned. And that's when people were really getting a lot of, like, a lot of weird experiences happening. Mm -hmm. Finding like old hospital equipment and stuff in there, for old beds, like weird, like some of the photos, bro, that I've seen there, like that were people were getting when it was still abandoned because it was all crumbled and like you know you mm -hmm. make it that ex more creepy, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's a it's a trippy place, man. Uh, it's something I've wanted to see someday. Maybe it's out there in the ground though. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the damn floor. I ain't going that damn floor. You ever soak though? You ever go hot springs? Just that uh, Cougar Reservoir. Cougar's great. Aren't they closed? Didn't that catch yeah. fire? It did, but it's back open. Is it? Yeah. And then it was like, you know what was really stupid? It was like, it got, the road got blocked off from like an avalanche mm -hmm. and it was just closed forever, dude. And I was like, really want to go up there. And then it finally opened up and then the fire, there was like, there was that guy out there. He had his son. Mm -hmm. Did you remember, do you remember that story? He, he was like the last person to see it. Before it burnt, <laughs> and then it was closed for like another year. This is in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. He was out there with this little boy, man, like during the day soaking, and mm -hmm. they were literally running from the fire, bro. See, that's that like stuff, that's man. terrifying. Oh yeah, and that's kind of a small jaunt, yeah. at least what a half a mile from oh, the yeah. from the soak. It's a little hike for sure. From the soak back to your rig, and that's assuming your rig is there. I've seen yeah. people's cars busted oh, up, yeah. and oh, that is horrible. Yeah. At least they made it out. They made it out. They were safe. And then. I mean, they could have gotten the water. I mean, I say they could have gotten the water, but. Yeah. Because they've know. got that little pond, lake, whatever it is, right just uh, along the right, right side. Only reason I remember that is because I almost fell in it. 
Yeah. Trying to climb on the other side, the steep side, try to get to the waterfall. Try it, try it at night, though. Yeah. Shit house. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. like see, and, dude, this is, I, I can tell you stories for days being like 16, 15. We'd go up there, yeah. be nighttime, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're, I don't know about back then, but I know that I've only been up there a couple of times, mm-hmm. uh, in the last it's a dope few spot. years. Yeah, it is. But I know that they've definitely tightened down because it's gotten way more popular over the years. Yeah. But when we were kids and again, I don't, I think I'm assuming it was that way then. If it was, I don't know. Nonetheless, uh, you're not supposed to be there at night. No. We, that was the only time I ever knew the yeah. place was at night. Oh, right. Yeah. So we'd be, yeah. uh, we'd get, you know, just blasted, just kids drinking. Right. Yeah. And we'd we'd get in there at night. I remember this one time, not even, uh, not even uh, freaking um, being awake. Man, I passed out in the uh, in the car, and <laughs> freaking, I get up there. I'll have to read that in a sec. Yeah. Uh, so I get up there and I I pass out. My friends were enjoying soaking the whole night, and I slept in the car up there. But <laughs> most of the time, I made it up there, and I don't know, lots of lots of funny memories, man. And that's Cougar, man. Uh, it's you know one of our favorite yeah. spots to go as a kid. But it was, a, you know, you know, we weren't sober. Obviously, <laughs> it was dangerous. Kind of thinking back, like, dude, we could have hurt ourselves, man. Yeah, they're stumbling around a bunch of teenagers, uh, Got lost. But dude, it's so beautiful up there, man. Mm-hmm. And I I've I've been to quite a few different places to soak, but it's been a while. I will say, if you ever want to. Uh, if you ever want to go soak, and you want to mm-hmm. there's a lot all over Eastern Oregon, man. Like go like ways. If you go like we're talking, there's nothing out there, man. You're just I know there's yeah, nothing out it's there. It's just it's crazy. It's like it's a whole different world. Yeah. It, it's a completely different world, and uh, you'll just drive for miles and miles and miles and won't see nothing. Mm-hmm. And you could just I don't know pitch tent anywhere you want or whatever, but you'll find like this the uh, Albert Hot Springs. Uh, Summer Lake is a great place. You and your girl, mm-hmm. man, you can grab a Summer Lake Hot Springs. Again, just out in Timbuktu again. Just um, it's just some. I, I can't even describe how beautiful it is mm-hmm. out there. And you can get it like a little cabin, man. And mm-hmm. th- this it's just kind of a quirky little place. And uh, it's just something to experience if you ever want to try something different. And Summer Lake. Me and my girl went there a few years ago in mm-hmm. Summer Lake, man. And they've got the cabins. They're not, they're yeah, not never expensive or nothing. Yeah. But talk about relaxation, man. you got the stars, of course. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, it's kind of nice just to get away out of town sometimes. Give you so, the ability to check out. Yeah, absolutely. So what's going on here is uh, you are too... You two are a devil's dream. What does that even mean? I don't know. We're a devil's oh, dream. Oh, maybe, maybe talking about astral projection. That's one of the. Did we trigger somebody? No, I, I hope I'm, not. Well, it sounds like we I think anybody. I, 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 I might have triggered a person or two in my life. I, I might have I, triggered a few myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, some, I'm guessing that's what so, happened so, here. Some, some on intentional, some on accident. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> there, there's no telling, and it's always tough because. Anytime you talk about things that are beyond the beyond, beyond uh-huh. what you could see right in front of you, it's just like, that's the devil's work. Right. Uh, you know, well, hey, pray for us then. Yeah, I think. Uh, pray yeah, for us. Amen. You know, how about exactly. that? Yeah, pray and for I, us. I accept prayers. There you go, yeah. man. Hey, Hopefully. it's a dark world. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of darkness <laughs> out there. I would say myself, my, my, and I think we see the world through. It's like our, heaven and hell, man. Through our, through our own little perspective, yeah. our own little lenses. Yeah. For myself, I don't really see the world as a dark place. Oh, I mean, there's a dark. It's, but, that's not yeah. just a dark place. The devil's dream seems a bit, a bit excessive. <laughs> the devil's dreaming about me. That's a little odd, I guess, but. I guess she's she's cashing out right now. Yeah, she's, well, she's done. That's well, fine. We'll bless you. Karen. We hope you can still continue to support yeah, us. Karen. Yeah, bless you, Karen. You know, so bless you. So this has been fun. Yeah. You gonna get some fish and chips while you're here? No, dude. I already told you about that fish stuff. I don't fried food unless it's chicken. <laughs> 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 but no fried food doesn't set well in my stomach. I love fried dude, chicken so too. So I, I I catch myself. Just steering away from fried food. Dude. If I were going to do anything. It killed me the other day. I'm not going to lie. I had some fish and chips and it was delicious, but holy. Dude. See? For the rest of the grease, day, bro. I felt like death. Yep. I'm, I just wanted to die. There's something that goes on so with the good. grease that does not. Yeah. Um, it, it, and this is just not my stomach, just my entire being. So For sure. I'm finding as I get older, man, 
changing the way that I eat. Slowly. Likewise. And I and I, I always associate with it, does this make me feel better or does it make me feel worse? How is my my clarity of thought? Is it better or is it worse? Oh yeah. Um and there are some foods that I absolutely love. I'm like I know. I need not eat this I feel you. anymore. Hot sauces. Oh, I love there, hot there, sauces. There, there, there is a, a, a um, um, husband and wife created this brilliant hot sauce. Uh-huh. It's like venom sauce or venom something. has a snake on it, which I'm surprised I even tried it with the snake. But anyway, the stuff is so good. But if you overdo that hot sauce, boy, you let me not. tell you. Oh, yeah. It's not just my stomach. It's the my other intestines. Ends. Yes. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I got to slow down a little bit. I bought like the six hot sauces that they had available. So good. Pro- mm. Probably the best hot sauce I've ever, I've ever had. Yeah. However, you got to everything in moderation, right? So How about when you go to the, get your burrito, right? And they give you like one little cup, like that ain't going to work, bro. I'm like, Hey dude, What'd I'm pretty sure I asked you for those. extra. So yeah. I need you to, <laughs> I need like six of those. Man. Oh yeah, that's me. We're gonna have to I'm, charge you. That's fine. Just give me the six. All I right. am drowning that burrito in hot yeah. sauce. Half I'll time. take them both too. The <laughs> green and the red. I don't want just green. I'm good give on me the both. Red. Oh, red I love sometimes it. Sometimes tastes like pepper, like oh, the black it. pepper in them. Like, I love it. Red. I love it all. The hotter, the better. Yeah. Light it up. Yeah. <laughs> my girl's not like that though. She don't like hot foods really. She's yeah. more mild, moderate. My son, he's like me. I guess. No, he loves the hot stuff, too. I, I always get, try to get my son to try hot stuff. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll fool him. You know, gotcha. Like, oh, that's not that hot. But as he gets older, he's a little bit smarter. He's on to my shenanigans about, like, oh, it's <laughs> not that hot. And For sure. Yeah. I think about the, the chicken wings that I made la- this time last year. We were house-sitting uh, uh-huh. for one of my friends. And Eugene and I made these wings, and I got this... Well, actually, he has this uh, sauce. It's like a Korean sauce. It's um, capsaicin sauce. So it's just made from the hottest peppers. I'm assuming they extract some of the oil. and Right. Stuff is just straight fire. Well, I made these wings for myself, and I'm like, hey, D, it's time to come and eat. And he didn't come down. He was sleeping. Well, he came down, and he started eating when I was doing something else or I forgot. And he had some of those hot ones, dude. He was on fire. Like, I'm talking about <laughs> running around the house and looking for milk and things to eat. It was Milk kind of helps, yeah. too. <laughs> it kind was, of. It was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Hey, you ever just put, like, a habanero in your mouth? Like, no, something, dude. like a straight Get out of here, do you? I remember just putting, like, a seed. No. I took one. I tried this when I was, like, I don't know, probably, I was probably, like, 17 or something. My friend Derek. That seems appropriate. Dude, yeah, bro. Like Crush it up and smoke it. Oh, I wanted to. <laughs> I've seen people do some stuff like that. Jesus, man. I wouldn't do it. Bro. I wouldn't encourage anyone (laughs) to do it. But I did watch a guy do that with, um, I think it was a Carolina Reaper. Number one, I think oh that God. would blister I don't, up your I don't lungs. even know what it's anything not about a good it. Idea. Just the name, Carolina. I would, I would, I would, yeah. Name scares me. But it's, people, death. Pe- people will do things like that for likes. It, less, it lasted a good hour at a minimum. No amount of not milk mattered. Just like a habanero, I think it was. It was crazy, bro. I was. I don't think I've ever been so miserable in my life. Yeah. Nope. I don't yeah. like being miserable. <laughs> I like hot food, but not that hot, man. I ain't trying to mow on a. Yeah. What was that you said? A Carolina. It was a Carolina Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. good. I am good. Yeah. There's some actually a couple decent taco places in town here too, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you plan on getting eaten while you're here, but. I don't know. Probably something healthy. Yeah, it's been, uh, like the weather's been actually pretty decent, too. Um, I know it's a little overcast today, but a lot of sunshine, man. It's kind of like it is back home, except we don't have any sunshine. Was it hot today in Eugene? No. No? It's like 68, I think, when oh, we okay. left. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. A little different. For sure. Well, man, I think it's about time to wrap it up. Yeah, let's do it. I'm uh I got some stuff I got to do right now. I could talk to you forever though. Yeah. Tell you what, man. <laughs> We're going to have to do this again soon. This has been fun. Yeah. I'll I'll be up either next week or the week after. We'll make it happen. For sure. Absolutely. I Hold look forward to it. King, this has been fun. Um thank you all for tuning in. Everybody uh who's been supporting the brand, we appreciate it more than you know. And uh make sure and check out the store uh online shop.thatorganlife.com. 
We dropped the link in the comments. We got all kinds of new hoodies, hats, tees. Always making new gear too, adding new things to the store. So also make sure and uh, sign up for our email newsletter. You can do that uh, through our website, thatorganlife.com. You can also access the store, access the store there as well um, and sign up for our e- email newsletter. You can also go to organemail.me and you'll find the form for that. And uh, yeah. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. We look forward to seeing you guys next time live on Facebook. We'll also be posting this to Instagram. Make sure and follow us on on, on Instagram, That Organ Life. And we appreciate your support and hope you all enjoy the rest of your awesome weekends. And take care for now. And we'll see you next time. Later. Deuces. Deuces. And bam, disconnected. That was cool. I say we do more homework next time. Yeah. I say we develop topics, we get the dates, mm-hmm. and then what we're all like, um, I think about like, oh, good old Karen there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know why I like Karen? Because Karen's giving it 